Hi, welcome back to Pilates Core Training, part two of Pilates on the Ball. These exercises take your Pilates training to the next level. If you're joining us today and you don't have a stability ball or a physio ball, you can still do these exercises on the floor. I'll show you the modifications. As always, work to your best potential, always working every muscle with every repetition of every exercise. So nothing is ever slack. And as always, work to a pain-free range of motion. So if you have a ball, you're going to be sitting on it. Otherwise, just sit nice and tall on your mat. Place your hands on your rib cage and take a nice deep breath. And as you inhale, feel the ribs move out to the sides, a lateral breathing. So just getting back into our center. And let's do that again. Inhale, ribs expand wide to the side. Shoulders are easy. Keeping those shoulders from moving up as you inhale. And as you exhale, the ribs move together and the navel draws in and up. So be aware that on your exhale, when you draw the navel in and up, you're activating the transverse abdominals that helps to lift the rib cage up. So you'll always gain that height of the spine and then lock it in place by activating the deep core. Inhale. And exhale. Using that breath to start each and every Pilates movement. Now to move on, we're going to talk a little bit about stabilizing the hips. So from here, all you're going to do is hike your right hip up towards your armpit. And then go through center and hike your left hip up through center. So as you continue to do this move, it's as if you have a level across your shoulders. So there's no movement of the upper body. You're really isolating side flexion from below the waist. Now watch that as you do this, that you're not sticking the tailbone out. So watch that as you continue with this side flexion, it's, there's, this doesn't start to happen. We're still in the neutral spine. So you have to keep the low abs pulled in and keep the length of spine. So everything we've always done in these classes keeping the spine as long as possible, shoulders as square as possible. All right, so now level it out so that you are in the middle, you are back to neutral. If you could draw a plumb line from hip bone to hip bone, it would be level, so watch that. Place your feet together. If your balance feels a little shaky, keep your hands on the ball. Otherwise, challenge that by just lifting your hands a little bit. Now, lift your right foot off the floor and hold it and place it back down and other side lift your left foot off the floor draw the navel in lift up so there's no collapsing the spine and release it and lift up now when you do this watch that the hip doesn't lose its strength so as your knee comes up think opposition your sits bone goes down your opposing hip pulls up to keep the waistband straight. And again, one more time. Lift your knee, keep the waistband straight. Keep the navel in. Last time, lift the knee and release it down. All right, adding on to that, you're going to lift your knee, hold it, inhale. And as you exhale, extend your legs straight straight out, hips still square, and inhale in. Let's do that five more times on the right side. Exhale, navel in, spine long, and inhale. So if your hamstrings are kind of tight and you're having a difficult time straightening your knee, point your toe and keep that active. If your hamstrings are very flexible, you can challenge that a little bit by flexing your ankle and reaching out your heel. Watch that the hip doesn't come up with your leg and rest. Let's try the other side. So lifting your foot, hold it, square off the hips, and then exhale and reach. And inhale in. Really challenges the balance. Feel free to put your arms wherever it aids your balance. And track in. And three more. Exhale out. And inhale, watch that your tailbone isn't pressing back, making your low back do more of the work than your low abdominals. 
And last one, exhaling out and inhaling in. Let's go into a spine twist. Place your feet and knees together. Take your arms wide to the side. Inhale. And as you exhale, turn your rib cage and your vision behind you, keeping the ball very still. And inhale through center. Exhale, draw the navel in to twist. So watch that your knees do not shift apart here. So if the hips start to shift, then you want to get tall and kick in more of the abdominals. Exhale as you turn from above the waist. So as we've talked about before, as you twist, let's say you're twisting to the right, your hips have to do a little twist to the left. Always opposition. And exhale, belly in, twisting. Press the opposing hip back. And inhale, and last one, draw the navel in, grow tall, and twist. And inhale, back in. Let's lie flat on the ball. So the best way to do that is if you just start to curl your tailbone and roll it down until you're in a position where you feel very supported in your low back. Your hands will go behind your head. So be careful they're not pulling, but they're there to hold some weight of the head. You're already semi-lifted. So you're going to keep this abdominal area recruited. So remember where your rectus attaches. You're going to keep that engaged. Keep the ribs together. Your legs are in parallel. Give yourself that little tail tuck. Now inhale. And as you exhale, lift a little higher by curling the spine, not just by lifting straight up. You're tucking the tailbone and curling and release. And exhale for seven. And inhale, release. So keep your neck reaching in length as if somebody has a chain on the back of your head and they're pulling it. And release. In four more, pull the belly and tail tuck if you're having a difficult time curling, you may experience some low back pain. So just hold and don't try to curl. Just hold that plank alignment. And last one, exhale to curl. And inhale, release. And exhale to curl all the way up. Back to your seated position. All right, let's move on from here. Let's just go into a side stretch before we go into some more abdominals. So taking it down onto your knees, you're going to place your waist on the ball, extending your top leg out. Reach overhead, grab your wrist and pull it. And just go into a nice side stretch here. Draw your navel in just a little tail tuck so that we're not leaning into the back. That's what I find happens more than anything in ball classes is that there's a tendency to lean back a lot. So really kick those abs in. Now undo your hands and keep your hips from rolling. Turn and tw let your upper body twist over the ball without bringing the top hip over. So just twisting from above the waist. Reach down towards the floor with this top hand. And then likewise, going into a little extension, keep the hips facing forward. Turn your chest to face the ceiling. And back to center and roll it up. Let's go to the other side. Ball goes under your waistline. Top leg extends. Reach overhead and hold on to your top wrist and stretch. Draw the navel in. Give yourself that little tail tuck and hold the stretch. And bring this top arm back just a little bit more to increase the stretch. Take a nice deep breath. Feel your top rib cage expand. And as you exhale, let go of the top hand. Keep your hip from rolling. Turn your chest down. And then twist in an extension. Keep your hip from rolling with you. And back to center and release it. 
Okay, let's go down. So we're lying on our backs with our feet on the ball. So we'll start here with just your calves on the ball. Lying in a comfortable place, arms are going to be by your sides. Take a nice deep breath. And as you exhale, the only movement is to lift your head, neck, and shoulder blades. So just that small crunch. Maintain your neutral placement of your pelvis and release down. So we're working to get as much control and power from the upper regions of the abdominals and release down. Let's do that one more time before we add on. Exhale, lengthen the neck, nod the chin, soften the sternum and lift. So it's that, always that same sequence and release down. All right, now we're going to put it into a full teaser. So as you exhale, lift into that highest lift from the upper body and then posterior tilt, press the low back into the mat. And from here, extend the legs out just a little bit more and roll all the way up. When you get up to the top, extend your arms, lengthen your spine, inhale, exhale, keep this length and tuck your tailbone under and roll it down and release. Inhale, exhale, lift your head, neck, shoulder blades, get as much lift there as possible, then tuck the pelvis and then on your second exhale, roll all the way up. Inhale and straighten the back and exhale. Keep the lift happening. Keep the chest wide. Watch for letting the shoulders try to help out too much there. All right. So now one full breath in that same precision. Inhaling and exhale all the way up. Watch for that belly button popping up there. You want to keep it pulling in. Inhale and exhale. Tail tuck. Let each vertebra touch the mat one at a time. Two more, inhale, shoulders wide, and exhale. Getting as much flexion through the whole spine as possible, and then extending up. Keep that lift as you tuck your tailbone and lower down. And la on this last one, we're gonna add on, so hang in there, inhale. And exhale to roll it up, scoop the tailbone, straighten the spine, inhale, and as you exhale, take your arms overhead for five, and inhale down. Exhale, draw the navel and keep the support happening from the abdominals. If this goes into your back, then avoid this arm overhead, and just hold it or lower down. We have two more, exhale, Inhale, and last one, exhale, inhale here, and exhale, roll it down. Okay, so let's move on. That's quite a bit on the ab abdominal, so we'll kick in some of those hamstrings again. We'll go into bridges. On part one, we did bridges with straight legs. Part two, we're going to do bridges with bent knees. A little more challenging. So your feet are on the ball. Arms are by your sides. Your legs are in parallel. Inhale in this position and exhale back into that posterior tilt, activating the lower end of the abdominals and roll it up. Inhale at the top and exhale, roll it down with that same control as you just did on those teasers. So let's do that a few more times. Inhale to prepare. Shoulders wide. Exhale. Tuck your tailbone and roll it up. And hold here. You want to be in a position where you feel very strong. So keep your sternum down. Watch for popping the ribs up there. Really anchor that down and give the glutes a little squeeze and the belly in. And this should be a very strong supported position as well. You should be able to lift your head off the mat so you know that you're weight bearing between the shoulders. Inhale and exhale, lower down. Let's extend your legs out a minute. Let the hamstrings stretch before we add on to that. 
All right, now if that was enough, continue to do those bridges, the singles, just up and down. If you want to progress, then follow along here, going into some leg extensions. Inhale to prepare. And exhale, posterior tilt, roll all the way up to your best supported position. It's not a very high bridge here. And as you exhale, extend your legs out to where there's comfort in your knees and low back. So watch if you're too high, you'll probably end up going into your low back. So keep that support. You should feel the end range happen in the hip extensors right where the thigh meets the butt. And then inhale, track in. So the pelvis never leaves its position. It's just that same thigh-hip dissociation. Your thighs move and your hips stay still. So you're supporting it all with the deep core muscles. Let's go four and exhale, tail tuck. And inhale and exhale, three, shoulders wide, neck long, and two, Inhale, and exhale, one. Inhale, in, and exhale, curl it all the way out. And extend your legs. Let those hamstrings stretch out a minute. Let's think about some length here of the spine. Inhale and take your arms up. Exhale and reach overhead, pressing the ribs into the mat. So the ribs pressing into the mat is happening from softening the sternum and engaging the obliques versus tucking the pelvis into a posterior tilt. So pelvis stays neutral, slide the ribs down there. Let's do that a few times while our hamstrings are stretching out. Exhale to reach overhead, keep reaching long through the back of your neck and inhale up. And exhale, reaching overhead ribs down. Inhale up, keeping your elbows straight. And last one. And inhale up. Keep your arms up. Bend your knees. Let's challenge those bridges just a little bit more. Now, it's a lot more of your stability. Inhale. Exhale. Posterior tilt. And roll it up going up nice and slow and controlled. Inhale at the top and exhale to lower down. So feet together is definitely more challenging here than feet apart. So pressing your inner thighs together, it helps to spot your vision on the ceiling. Imprint your shoulders, inhale. Exhale, posterior tilt, draw the navel to spine, and roll it up, staying nice and centered. Shoulder blades still imprinted, neck long. Inhale at the top, make sure you're in your abdominals. Watch for going into your low back, uh, and roll it down. All right, so moving on from here, you're going to place your arms back down on the mat, and now we'll challenge stability from the legs. So from this position, feet together, roll it back up to your low bridge. Scoop the tailbone, draw the navel in, inhale. And as you exhale, take your right leg off the ball. Keep the hips level just as we did the very first exercise. Exhale, extend your leg, inhale, bend it and place it back down. Bend your left knee in, inhale, and exhale, extend it up towards the ceiling, keeping your hips level. Bend it and place it back down. One more set. Feel free to lower down if your hamstrings have had it. Bend your knee. Exhale, extend up, hips staying level. Inhale in and down. And last one. Left knee, inhale, shoulders and head against the mat. Exhaling up. Keep the navel drawn in, inhale, bend, exhale, and lower down, bone by bone. And extend your legs out. Nice work on those hamstrings. Let's move on here. We'll go into a little bit of a hamstring stretch. That'll probably feel pretty good about now. So place your legs so that your knees are about a 90 degree angle and your feet are together. Take the ball, place it on top of your left thigh. Take your right leg 
and reach it over the ball. And just hold that for a few seconds as the thigh relaxes. Now at any point along the way, if you feel like you've hit your maximal flexion, then that's where you stop. I'm gonna just keep progressing, but feel free to stop at your comfort point. Now point your ankle and straighten your knee. Hold on to the ball. Don't want any flying projectiles here. All right, now flex your ankle, reach your heel towards the ceiling. And now squeeze the ball, bring your left knee in just a little bit, press down with your right thigh, squishing the ball, neck long. And if that's not enough yet, lift your left foot off the floor, pressing the ball into your right thigh going a little deeper into the hamstring stretch. Easy shoulders and breathing. Five seconds. And release it. Okay, let's go to the other side. Feet together, center it out and bring your left leg on top. Find that nice center position and give the left hamstrings a chance to release. Keep your chin down and your shoulders easy. Point your toes and straighten your knee. Flex your ankle and then squeeze the ball And then lift your right foot off the mat and hold it. Still squeezing, still trying to keep your left knee straight and your shoulders and neck easy. Belly button in, hold five, four, three, two, and release it down. And put the ball to the side and let's roll up and we'll move into a little bit of upper body strengthening. We'll go into an exercise called knee stretch. So you're going to get on your hands and knees. The ball goes underneath your feet. And as I fix my mic, grab that runaway ball. All right, so on your hands and knees, tops of the feet on the ball. Spread your fingers wide as in all of our hands and knee alignment. Lean a little more towards the outside edge of your pinky. Inhale. And as we did on part one, you'll exhale and lift your knees up off the mat. Now, to pro progress to knee stretch, as you exhale, extend your legs out. And as you inhale, bring them under. So you're going to keep your neutral curves of your spine. Inhale, dropping mics. Exhale, draw the belly and connect the ribs. So only take your legs to the point where you feel you are in your powerhouse. If this starts to happen, then don't go quite as far. Last three. Inhale under. Exhale out for two. And under. And last one. And under. And bring it in. And release it. Going back down on your backs. You need to get those rollovers in. So lying down, place the ball between your lower legs. Holding on in this straddle position. So when you squeeze the ball, you want to think that you're not just squeezing with your inner thighs, but give yourself a little turn out so that you feel like you're squeezing it a bit with your lower glutes. Inhale as you pike the legs in towards you. Exhale, posterior tilt, draw the navel in. And use the strength from your abs to roll over. Inhaling here. Exhale, keep the back of your knees straight as you think about pressing your thighs in as close to your torso as possible to lengthen down. Let's do that two more times, inhale. Hike in, exhale, posterior tilt to roll it over. Inhale, shoulders square, 
exhale, give that ball a little squeeze as you draw the navel in and control that roll down. And again, last one, inhale and exhale. Inhaling at the top, shoulder square, and exhale to control it all the way down. And release it and remove the ball and roll off to one side. Going into a nice stretch to your hip flexors, which would probably feel very good about now. So let's just lunge. Place your right foot by the side of the ball and lean forward. Give yourself a tail tuck and really feel the front of your thigh of your left leg stretching as if you're trying to touch the ball with your hip flexors. Draw the navel in. Give yourself a little bit of a back extension here. Aim your sternum to the ceiling. Keep that length of spine and release it, and going to the other side, left leg forward, going into the psoas stretch, sternum forward, and release it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this series of Pilates on the ball. I look forward to teaching you more exercises. Please stay tuned for future shows. Thank you very much.